the safe house. This is your final warning. Queen Magara, this unit does not understand. It has not taken part in hostilities. It doesn't matter to them. I need to get you out of here. This conflict exceeds creator safety parameters. We will surrender our hardware if it ends hostilities. No, it's all right. We'll go back to the access tunnels and... Oh! Creator Megara, what is your status? Creator Megara? The Creators never formally ended hostilities. They have officially been at war with the Geth for 291 years. Accessing data. This is data from the end of warfare on Rannoch. The outflow is down. Do not engage the guest. I repeat, avoid contact. Guest pursuit is breaking off a hundred clicks past Rannoch. All captains fall back to the mass relay. This isn't happening now? It is time stamped 290 years ago. It is the Creator Exodus at the end of the Morning War. We have secured freedom. The Creators were no longer a threat, so we abandoned pursuit. Wait, the Geth spared the Last Corians? You let them go? Our future was uncertain. Our networking was primitive. We stayed within our limits. Connection with the remaining server node established. We are ready to transport you. to this communication node. Gaz no longer reside on this server. We may now exit the consensus. What's wrong? You, you must put to the must proceed to the head of war and disconnect from Mother. Terminating remote access. Removing programs. Deleting archives. Shepard, are you okay? Did it work? Geth fighters have been disabled. Any remaining squadrons attacking the live ships have withdrawn. The server is offline. Are you sure? What's happening? We have transferred Geth programs from the server into these platforms. Why? They wish to join us. I had noted an increased usage of bandwidth. While Shepard Commander removed the Reaper infection, we judged we could persuade hostile Geth programs to reunite with ours. We were correct. These Geth have renounced the old machines and will oppose the Reapers. They are now us. Why didn't you tell me any of this? Organic sympathies lie with other organics. We feared your allies. The Creator's actions have placed their species in danger, but they are unsympathetic to what it has done to ours. The Quarians sanctioned this operation to save their people. They would not have done so if they knew we wished to preserve Geth as well. I was an idiot to think you told me everything. We did not compromise the mission. Saving Creator life ships remained a priority. The Council's useless. The Krogan almost didn't fight. The Quarians started a war. 
We do not understand. How the hell do we beat the Reapers if everyone's exploiting this crisis? How much damage could your stunt have done if it went wrong? Don't even answer. Let's go. Impressive, Commander. The Geth Squadrons attacking our live ships have been completely neutralized. If there is any chance we could duplicate the feat, I would be happy to lend my expertise. You'd have to ask the Geth we found if you're looking for other servers. I thought as much, but your Geth claims to have no data available whenever I inquire. Perhaps you can help me with something else. What's that? How did you get Geth Primes to work with you? That was also the Geth from the Dreadnought. Of course. If you would care to have me examine these Geth to verify their trustworthiness, I would gladly make time. Thank you again for your services, Commander. Admiral Zen, out. Commander, we've located the Reaper base transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to Creator forces. Take it out from orbit. The Geth should be easy to clean up afterward. The surrounding area is heavily fortified, and they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes. It should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way. The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? We still haven't gotten a rescue ship to Admiral Kors. Can he wait? We're suffering heavy civilian casualties without him there to organize them. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. Commander, I gave him to Admiral a reckless behavior beforehand. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt. Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. Thank you, Commander. It's difficult to keep him in line. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They offered to end my exile if I could help us retake the homeworld. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. How is it being back with the fleet? It's better than exile. I know they only brought me back to help them, but 
I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. My old sergeant told me that Cerberus started out as an Alliance Black Op. Black Ops always go bad. If you have to deny the action, it was a crappy action. Commander, you might want to check in on Commander Williams down on the observation deck. Damn, I could really use something to shoot right now. So you went into the Geth consensus? Like virtual reality? Yeah, it was strange, but I got out all right. Did you? I mean, how would you know? How would I know what? If you really got out. See, if the Geth experience everything virtually, then you could only think you're in the real world. What if this, like everything you're seeing now, is a simulation? Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachanka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachanko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. The Reapers have nothing to emulate. Seconded. Why would you want to be like those assholes? The Reaper lifespan is between 50,000 to 37 million years. That is a very successful model. And all they do is harvest and destroy. Ask yourself if that's what you really want. That is an unusual perspective, Shepard. I will devote processing power to considering it. Thank you. <laughs>